All right, guys, welcome again. Another episode of Roller Pigeon Evolution. I am Danny. This is Sam Smitty. How are you doing today, Sam? Excellent, excellent. Thank you guys for joining us for another edition of Roller Pigeon Evolution. Um, questions, Danny? Yeah, uh, we got one question. This is regarding meds uh, from Steven Spainhauer. He's asking if we, could, we can elaborate a little bit on the uh, meds that you use and how to administer them. Okay, thank you, Steven. Appreciate the question. Uh, once again, uh, a lot of people had asked that we go over the meds that I said should go in your basic kit. I've added a couple things here, but uh, we're going to take it step by step and walk you guys through what we got here and what the applications are and how to use them. Okay? All right. So, we're going to start right here with uh, a pox vaccine. What this is, it's a vaccine, which means it's a modified live virus. And you administer this under the leg of a young bird. Comes with a little brush, which I'll show you. So this is actually the vaccine itself. You open it up, you dip this little brush in there. You hold the bird's leg under this side of the bird's leg. You scratch until you see that you've broken the skin. Once you've broken the skin, dip, boom. And what that does, that makes sure that that modified live virus goes into the bird. What the vaccine does is make sure that the virus gets into the bird's bloodstream. Once it's in the bird's bloodstream, the bird is exposed to that virus. But because it's a modified virus, which means it's not fully active, when it does come in contact with the pox um, virus, it's already aware of it and it can fight it. So that's how vaccines work, okay? Now, if you have birds that already have the virus and you wanna treat them, what you're gonna use is what they call a pox dry. Pox dry, you basically take a uh, cotton swab with a Q-tip, dip it in there, you peel off the scab that, that occurs from pox, put it on it, let it dry, at least it takes a couple days, two, three days that dries, Peel it off again, you apply, reapply. So you're gonna do probably two to three applications and it usually makes it go away. Okay. One thing nice about this, it's a dual purpose. It works for canker and it works for pox. So when they get canker in the lining of their mouth, you see the little white spots. Um, you can also apply this in the lining of the mouth and it works just as well. So that's your, your uh, uh, pox treatment and vaccine. Then you've got right here, you've got Wazine Wormer. This covers a broad spectrum of worms, which is round worms and a bunch of other type of worms. This is water soluble. It's got directions on the back of how much you use per gallon of water. Next, you've got Soulmate. Soulmate is an antibacterial. So when your birds have a bacterial infection, loose droppings, green droppings, Soulmate is really good for that. Secondly, you've got Tylen. Tylen is an antibiotic. So, excellent for when your birds uh, are really, really down, and they're not looking good, and uh, they start to lose weight. Again, it's probably a bacterial infection, so you wanna use Tylen, which is an antibiotic, sorry. Next, uh, Canker Plus. Canker Plus, excellent for the treatment of canker, again, I talked about the dry pox. Dry pox both and canker plus work great for canker. Again, water soluble. It's got directions on how to use and how to mix it in uh, one gallon of water. Next, we've got Corid. Corid is for the treatment of coccidiosis. Coccidiosis, dark green droppings, rapid uh, weight loss of your birds. Water soluble, excellent, excellent product here. And I've used it and it works. Now. You've got Vitaprene. Vitaprene is a water soluble. You mix it with water and you treat your birds with it. Um, again, another really, really good product that I've used and had great results with. You can, you can use that with young birds, old birds, all your birds, doesn't really matter. Now, first line of defense though, when you notice a bird is starting to get light and there's issues with that bird, first thing you wanna do, you wanna pop a ideal in his mouth. You wanna treat birds with ideal for uh, ideally about five days. So five days straight, and then watch their progress. 
if they are getting better, you're fine. You're on the road to recovery with that bird. And I, somebody wanted me to show you exactly how you're gonna administer this. So I'm gonna grab a bird here. You're gonna take that bird, you're gonna hold it close to you. You're gonna open his mouth, just like that. You're gonna take the ideal pill, pop it in his mouth, and you're gonna work it down to make sure that it passes his uh, airways, okay? And that's pretty much it. So that, that pretty much concludes all of these. The last thing that we've got here is a treatment for feather mites and for lice, okay? So you use anywhere from a half ounce to a quarter of an ounce per gallon. You mix that in water, it's in their bath water. So you let your birds bathe with, bathe with it. When they are done, you remove the water and dump it, okay? You wanna repeat this process probably about once every three to four months and you'll get to a point where you won't have to do it because your birds won't get feather mites. And once it's, you've rid your loft of this, I mean, your birds end up much better. The other thing is feather mites eat the feathers. They eat the feathers and just your overall quality of your bird's feathers is horrible. So make sure you're using some sort of um, thing to kill the uh, feather mites, okay? Um, I don't have anything else on this. If you guys have any other questions, please don't hesitate. Leave questions on the, on the uh, site and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. Once again, thank you for your support and thank you for joining us for another edition of Roller Pigeon Evolution. Have a great day. Thanks, Sam. That really covered a lot on the meds and stuff like that. Hopefully, uh, we covered, a, uh, answered a lot of questions. And uh, if you guys have any other questions, please comment below, like, subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.